<laughs> Welcome to a little fun. So, this cool combination lock pullback car was sent to me by Lock Noob, buddy. Thank you very much for the fun item. Um, yeah, I wanna decode this lock for you quickly and then we'll take apart the car, inspect the locking mechanism and look very closely to the pullback motor and see how it works. Um, first to the lock, we already know the combination because it's printed down here, it's 4, 2, 6. So 4, 2 and 6 will open the lock. Um, it's a regular combination lock, which means that you can apply tension on the shackle, you pull out the shackle, turn the wheels and you should find um, a place um, of the wheels where um, the resistance changes. It's a little bit hard to do with a finger, so I will use a, um, a screwdriver for that. And it turns out that the direct method of pulling and turning is not effective here. So I will use the indirect method, which uh, goes like that. You apply tension on the shackle, you turn the first uh, binder and see um, the effect, the effect uh, that it has on the second binder. And that's the, the second wheel in this case. So I apply tension, I turn the, the second wheel and I can still turn it, no problem. Now I change it to 4, apply tension and now it's really hard to turn. That means that 4 is the right number for the first wheel. I do the same for, um, for the second wheel. I already know that 2 is the right number, so I will save a little bit of time. So 4, I apply tension, I can still turn the last wheel. 3, I can still turn the last wheel. 2, and now it's very hard to turn the last wheel. It means 2 is the right number, and now it's a matter of just turning and the lock opens. Alright, not so difficult, but you have to be aware that sometimes when you cannot feel a change of resistance on your current binding wheel, you can always check the next binding wheel's change of resistance when changing the first binding wheel. Alright, so let's take it apart and look how it actually works. So I will just undo all the screws that I can find here. There are three in total. So here we go, that's just a plastic cover. And here's the inside. We can see the pullback motor with a, with a spring and here is the, the lock. Yeah, the shackle comes out. We can see cutouts here, three cutouts for the, for the three wheels, and we can see the spring. So it pops uh, out automatically when you have dialed in the right number. We can take it apart a little bit further. So here the, the lock comes apart. Um, yeah, we've got the chamber here for the, uh, for the shackle. And you can see the wheels have cutouts like, like so. And when this cutout here is at the right place, it gives free the, the, the chamber to accept the, the shackle so it can then slide through. And if it's locked up, um, the hole here, the chamber is, is blocked. And this blocking part goes in the cutouts of the shackle. And so you can um, lock it three times with the three wheels and only if you have entered the right code, because there is only one cutout here, you can see that, it, that then the chamber for the, uh, for the shackle is completely free. I think it was four, two and six. And now we can look through and also slide through the, the shackle. Yeah, that's how it works. Um, the part here in the back, that's just a, a spring that goes in these, um, these little grooves here so that it makes a click for every whole number and that it's easier to turn in the right code. All right, but now let's move on <laughs> to the more complex part of this item, the pullback motor. We can see a lot of gears 
Um, yeah, and I will I will take it out actually. And by the way, it's quite funny. I found these uh, metal parts here in the back, and they are actually of no. Um, yeah, they have they make they seem to make no sense because they have no no function. But I think they are just there for weight. So without these uh, metal parts, um, it's lightweight, and when the wheels turn quickly, um, they might turn and the uh, uh, car um, stays at the same place so they they spin through uh, but with this additional weight it's uh, easier for the car to um, to gain speed yeah so that's what I think these these metal pieces are good for just for additional weight yeah and here's the the motor itself we can see a lot of uh, gears gear wheels and that's the that's the engine, so to speak. That's the that's the spring, um, and now I wanna t explain to you how it works that you can tension the spring. So you you turn the the axis, and on the axis we can see a little gear wheel here, and this little gear wheel is connected with that big gear, and when you tension the the, uh, the spring you turn it this way around which means that this gear here pulls down that gear and this one this little one here this long one here is um, that can move up and down and when you turn it this way around it is pulled down and so it connects that gear with this gear and this left one is directly connected to the spring. So we have the following um, turning uh, connection. A little gear down there on the axis goes to that big gear and there is a direct connection to the other gear which is the same diameter as this. So that means when I turn turn around once the, the, the axis here um, it turns just a little bit of the of the big gear. That means I can I have to turn a have to turn a lot until this big gear turns one full revolution. But in other terms, in other words, that means I can apply a lot of force to the spring to tension it. And once it's tensioned, and I release the axis, it spins very very quickly, and for um, spinning, for actually um, letting the car drive. This upper gear is um, important and it's also um, mounted in a way that it can move up and down. Here you can see how it moves up and down because there is a oval shape cut out here. So now I, I tension again the spring and when it turns the other way around, when the, the car actually drives, you can see that this gear here turns um, in the opposite direction which then uh, pushes up this gear and so these two gears are not connected anymore and now the force from the um, from that gear which is connected to the spring um, goes to the little gear here and then we have a big gear to a little gear and we have again a big gear to a little gear down on the on the axis which means that um, with a little bit of uh, rotation from the spring many many revolutions on the axis uh, will occur and that means that the big force from the spring will be transformed into um, many turns many revolutions of the of the axis which causes the car to run fast. I don't know if this runs alone. Let's see. Whoops! <laughs> uh, it's a little bit unpredictable what it does. So... Great fun with this little toy here. <laughs> Alright, so that's the pullback car with integrated lock. Uh, Locknoop, thank you very much for 
sending this this fun item to me. Um, yeah, everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and uh, spinning and inspecting how things work. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Happy picking and bye bye.